Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve a question came from Singapore, which is uh, related to functional functional equation and polynomial. We have to find all uh, such polynomial which satisfies this condition. Right. Uh, so let's start it and see how to solve it. So what I am going to do here first because we are going to find some polynomial is it is really uh, good if we can find the zeros of this polynomial so first i will put x equals to 0 and i will notice that 0 into p of 0 minus 1 this is 0 minus 3 p of 0 p of 0 equals to 0. This is my first uh, 0 of this polynomial that is one of the solution and now I notice that x equals to 1 gives me similarly 1 into p of 1 minus 1 1 minus 3 p of 1 into p of 0, p of 0 is 0, so this side is 0, therefore if after simplification p of 1 will be 0. And similarly, right, so these three things are zeros of this polynomial, this is a very important uh, finding here. So we can say that, now we can say that, x equals to 0, 1, 2 are roots of this polynomial and when you know the roots of a polynomial you can construct this uh, equation right so therefore we will write that here let therefore let p of x equals to x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 into q of x sum polynomial because we are not sure that if any uh, is there any other zero exist or do exist so we have to take another polynomial sum polynomial this is elementary result so p of x equals to this Now friend, this polynomial is almost over, if we can, we have to define q of x only. After that when substituting this value here, we will get the entire form of this equation, that's it. So now, in order to find, let's find out, let's find out q of x, the value of q, q of x. So the last step, let, in order to find out q of x, Okay friend, so you see, you saw that I have taken, we know that Okay, p of x equals to x into x minus 1, x minus 2 and q of x, right? See, we can substitute this value p of x in the original equation and let's see what happens here we have p of x this one and p of x minus 1 also we have so we have to find p of if p of x equals to this much then p of x minus 1 becomes x minus 1 then x minus 1 minus 1 x minus 2 and then x minus 1 of minus 2 is x minus 3 q of x minus 1 I just substituted x to x minus 1 for this one ok that's it so now let's use this in our original equation so friend so friend, now let's substitute these two values here. So now x 
into p of x minus 1 is this much so x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 3 and q of x minus 1 is equals to x minus 3 p of x equals to this much so x into x minus 1 x minus 2 and q of x so now you see both sides uh, after cancelling similar term everything almost everything cancels each other we are left with q of x minus 1 is equals to q of x right now if you observe observe that taking x equals to 0 1 2 etc if you use this you will see that q of minus 1 equals to q of 0 q of 0 equals to q of 1 q of 1 equals to q of 2 and so on right it means friend it means q of minus 1 equals to q of 0 equals to q of 1 equals to q of 2 equals to q of all uh, number it means it means this is a constant function so let q of x equals to six some constant right so finally we define the value of c uh, the value of q of x which is c so we can now successfully say that p of x equals to x So this is the final solution to this uh, polynomial we have uh, found for all x which belongs to real number right so this is that's it for today i hope you like this question this one is rather a very interesting one and hope you understood and this is very clear and no uh, uh, advanced uh, method used here so i hope you like it we'll see you next time with one new question till then have a nice day. See you next time.